You ready? Yeah. All right. Teach me grappling. What's up, guys? Jesse Strader. He's back. I'm back. All right. <laughs> guys, I got a request. Deep half guard. Coach Brian, how come you don't do deep half guard? Do you not like deep half guard? Little do you guys know, I love deep half guard. I haven't shown it on my channel. I can't explain why. It's something I used to do a lot. It's something that I haven't done in a lot of years. Let me give you guys some of the basics. Some of the things that I like to teach. There's many good ways to do it. You got guys like Jeff Glover, again, a former, former foe, uh, 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 opponent of mine that I love to watch as well. I'm a big fan of Jeff Glover's. He's amazing. And I've learned a lot by watching Jeff Glover. Um, I don't know how everybody teaches deep half guard. I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I do it. First thing I wanna do, Jesse, is I wanna show you guys a couple of drills that are gonna make you better at deep half guard, okay? So by myself, without a partner, check this out. I go on my one side and I just practice this move. It's very similar to my Ghost Escape series. I'm gonna whip my leg, I take my leg, I straighten and I whip. And then what I do is, is I open my leg this way. This leg helps slingshot this leg. So watch, I swing and I swing it this way. Then I'm gonna just practice the same thing going the other way. I take this leg straight, okay, like this. And I'm gonna swing this way. It looks really reminiscent of a guy who's gonna do uh, windmills in break dancing, except it's way easier. So you don't have to know how to do windmills to do this. So watch this, I just swing. And you notice the momentum starts to almost make me go to my knees. See that? And I'm not using a lot of strength. I'm doing this with my legs. I'm hardly using my arms at all. See that? And it helps me get up to my knees. The other drill that you can do by yourself is this one. The most ridiculous looking move, it's called the seizure. No, it's called, okay, I go leg extension, like quadricep extension, and it brings my butt. Look, here. Very efficient. I'm not using that much energy. I'll do it on this one. I'm on my side. I'm not flat, because I wouldn't move anywhere like this. I go here, and as I extend my legs, you notice it lifts my bottom. Yeah. Okay? Lifts my bottom. So it's pretty ridiculous. I recognize that. Hey, Jesse, come on over. What is deep half guard? Half guard, what is half guard? Let's talk about half guard. Half guard is like this. Here's a basic half guard lock. Sometimes you lock a half guard and you have a lock down like this, but you got his knee down in half guard. Deep half guard is when his knee is gonna come out of the guard and you're gonna be low on the leg with my legs and I'm gonna be here, okay? So come around. And look at this picture. This is called deep half guard. You could also get here from what's called quarter guard. Let's say he was mounted. And then I captured the ankle. And then I pummel my hand inside. And I get him up here. Do you notice there was a movement there though? that has to be achieved. I have to achieve his butt up here. Like I can't have him knee down. And then sit back on my hip. Yeah, like this. If the guy's here, you're entering, you're trying to get to deep half guard, but you're not there yet. You essentially have quarter guard with your arm inside. This could be really nasty in an MMA fight. You know, you're like, I want deep half guard. Oh, I would forget deep half guard. I guess I better protect my face. So keep in mind, it's very common that people will say deep half guard is terrible for MMA. It's not true because if you're really good at deep half guard, you can make it work. Am I saying it's the most basic thing in the world? No, I don't teach this to beginners, okay? I teach it to guys like Jesse, who's like developed his skills already. He's, he's, he's fighting, he understands basic jujitsu defense. Then we'll, we'll take him into deep half guard realms. 
So, let me give you now how we're gonna get there. I probably need to break this video up, but I'm gonna give you something right now. I, got, I have no plan, guys, you know me. All right, check it out. I got a knee show. I got a knee show. If a guy puts his outside leg up, I don't do deep half guard. If that leg goes up, I'm not thinking deep half guard. I don't think about it. What I'm thinking about with that leg up is I'm thinking, I'm gonna maybe come up to this position. Maybe he gets a wizard, the classic. This is a classic kind of fight. And then maybe I'll look to come under his leg and try to roll the guy, okay? It won't be that easy, but go ahead, put this one down. If the guy's here, maybe I'm gonna come over here and look to capture his leg. And then with my knee here, maybe I'll scoot and then put myself in positions to go for heel hooks, maybe for knee bars. Also knee bars are very common from there, okay? This leg up, we want to attack it, okay? But this knee down, because I'm always going for it, he puts it down, he cross faces and sprawls, and now I'm back into the basic defense. If every time I'm coming under, he'll start to put that knee down. He'll start to put that knee down. Now, once I get a guy with the knee down, because he's afraid of the underhook, he shifts his weight. Come around this angle. His weight, just open the arms. His weight is balanced on both legs. I want to put his weight on this leg. So if his leg is perfectly balanced 50-50, I really want a little extra shift on that leg. So if, the reason why he does that, sometimes he leans and he starts to bring his knee through. Like that. Sometimes, the teach me grappling just makes the babies cry. It's probably Coach Brian. Is it me or is it you? It is you. <laughs> okay. Guys, check this out. He's trying to bring it through, but his leg is not up. So look what I do. I stiff arm with this hand. I kick and I scissor my legs like this to make him off balance. Now, once, once I do that, I've got his leg straight, more or less. My right hand comes under, and now here comes the movement. I swing and put myself in a perfect deep half guard. Remember, this is your lifeline. Never let it come through or you're gonna get triangled, okay? So we don't want any of that business. Always, I'm, my legs, my knees are, see my feet aren't on the ground. My legs are up, like I'm not putting my feet here. I might like hold and hip escape, but I never like just get lazy, because then he's gonna get out. So one more time, if you get the guy, you're playing in the half guard, and he's playing super low because every time I was looking to pull this leg, pull this leg, get that leg back, and I'm like here, I. See how I got him off balance. Look at the position, guys. Posted, straight, pulling this leg. Yeah, I don't know if they can see the leg in the back, but I'm taking this right here. So it's hard for Jesse to put weight back on his knee. Like, I'm, I'm keeping that leg straight. Now I swing, and you notice his leg goes in the air. So I pull his body to there. And I still have that leg. That's your most basic get up from here. Now I'm going double leg and taking the guy down. I also might jump on a guy's back if it looks enticing. Maybe, probably not. Okay, half guard. Let's get back to this. Knee shield. I'm playing the field here. I can't, if his leg is up, that's fine. If his knee comes through, for at this point, if you're gonna go to deep half guard, you have to try to straighten this leg. If the knee is, is driving to the mat in a bent position, you're not gonna make this work. It's gonna be tough. See how compact Jesse is. This is not the go-to, okay? In this case, I'm looking to come up and play here. If we get into these scrambles, and if that knee ever drops, that outside knee, now I can come back and lift 
the lay and come into deep half guard. This is gonna be basic video first. I know it's not that basic for you beginners out there, but now that once I'm here, look, this elbow comes in, this one comes here. I'm reaching around to a double leg as I'm coming up. If a guy goes for the Kimura, don't get caught. If he drops and tries to Kimura, pressure him. See how I still got his leg? This would be nice. If I lose the leg, I'm gonna be in a fight. Maybe I gotta you know, get into these counter arm bars. Um, don't wanna get Kimura. Sometimes that will happen. Watch out for that. Um, so let's finish it up. Here, Jesse, let's have you develop. See, so Jesse's playing half guard. He's playing initial. He's on his side. What does he look for for deep half guard? He needs a guy who's trying to come through with the knee at this angle, like this. Now, sure, a lot of guys might be here, like that, okay? If they're like this, you're not gonna straighten that leg out. We're playing different. But if you keep attacking this, or if you keep underhooking, See, like here, maybe I'll put this knee down at some point. Sometimes I'll stay like this, but keep trying to kick me, extend me. See how my leg gives me base? Now, try to pop the knee shield out and go to the dog fight. Pop the knee shield, yeah, like this. Now look what's happening. We're going into a different phase of half guard attack. So now, I'm just gonna kind of create it. Let's say at this point, as Jesse tries to get up, he starts to get up and I uchimata him, put him back down. Now, now that we're down, see how the knee goes down, okay? If my leg goes up, just the underhook. Now, you see how like, this is a problem now. I've got us cross face and get my leg back. If I get my leg back and there's any kind of shift, kick me in that direction. See that? Now that you've straightened that leg out for a second, just underhook the leg. We're really gonna go to this one. But we hold here, swing and head go through, yes. And now his right hand, don't stay here. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. And now he's on his side. He's not flat. If you guys are playing deep half guard and you're flat, you're, you're gonna get smashed in an MMA fight. So if this happens, Jesse, give me that little, whoop, whoop, whoop. And keep going till you pop out. And now come on up, and now look, double leg, taking me down, passing the guard. Sweet. That was perfect. Okay, guys, I have no plans. I'm sorry, I'm not very organized. Hope you guys like those drills. Remember, swinging the legs to get up to your knees. The seizure, what is that called? Leg, I, have a, I had a name on it on another video. You extend the legs, like quad extensions. I had a name for it. Kick ups or something. Kick ups? Like they're gonna call kick it. Outs. They're gonna call it the seizure, probably. That's, uh, that probably isn't the best. <laughs> the spaz? Never you mind. No. <laughs> hey, shut up, coach. Um, we'll, we'll figure it out. In the comments section, let me know. <laughs> um, two drills to get better. If the guy, if you can get weight, it's like a scissor sweep. You can scissor your legs and get weight on his other leg, not the leg you have in half guard. That's when you're gonna stiff arm him and then swing and go into deep half guard. We got so many more drills to go. This is a deep half guard series. This is video number one. I'll get you guys another soon. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Jesse. Please click like, share, subscribe. You guys know what to do. Down in the description box, we have links where you can contribute if you wanna be a part of our Patreon or our YouTube membership or just contribute through PayPal. You can do that. Thank you guys all so much, the ones that do already. And we'll see you guys next time with more great stuff. Ow.